Welcome to Into Our Adventures. Um, my name's Jeff, and uh, this video is just a quick follow up um, on my first ride experience with the DID Dirt Star rims from the KTM Power Parts catalogue. About two weeks ago, I uh, just did a quick video that sort of outlined the rims and the difference between the stock and the Power Parts rims. So, if you haven't seen that, you can go back and have a look. Um, but I thought I'd just quickly cover off what that first ride experience was like. Um, Pretty much, uh, it's night and day, the difference between the, the stock rims and the power parts rims from a riding experience point of view. And probably the first thing I'd say is if uh, if you don't have the money to buy them and you're into extreme riding, I would suggest not riding a bike that's got them on. Because uh, once you've ridden with them, I don't think you'd want to go back. So you'll be quickly off to your, to your KTM shop or... Um, off to another th another part another part supplier like Rottweiler Performance or something like that to uh, order yourself a set of aftermarket rims uh, the lighter rims and narrow rims um, for those of you that don't want to go back and watch the video basically the power parts rims are narrower the rears are 2.15 compared to 4.25 inch and the fronts are 1.85 inch compared to 2.15 on the stock rim um, and three kilos lighter overall. Now, uh, from how the bike feels, um, obviously it's a lot of rotating ma unsprung mass to get rid of, um, which has an exponential effect in terms of how it feels. So the bike becomes on the road, even with full enduro tyres on there, they are road legal, but they're pretty aggressive, uh, fairly Scorpion XCs. Um, it becomes much more nimble so the bike feels a lot lighter um, it can you can flick from side to side in the turns much much quicker um, they also make those rims handle a lot better so um, sorry the rims the the, the more aggressive off-road tires handle better because you've got a much rounder profile um, so that uh, definitely improves the road handling on tires that aren't designed for the road um, I've probably never really tried true road tyres on it, but um, definitely helps in terms of road. It definitely helps in terms of the flickability. You can quickly flick from side to side in the turns much easier than you can on the stock rims and wider tyres. I was riding a 120 on the rear, so pretty narrow. Um, I'll chuck up a couple of uh, a video or a piece of a video of still out of a video that shows what a 140 in the same tyre looks like on a stock rim it has a very very square profile versus the 120 on the narrow rim um, which has a much more round profile now when you get off road into the into the bush so we rode um, a bit of slippery bush and unfortunately the camera played up so I don't have that video but I will be back in there at some point and so we'll post it again re-record but we rode slippery bush, unformed single track, so there isn't a groove or anything um, in the New Zealand bush, which is it was relatively dry this day, but typically never particularly dry. Um, lots of leaf litter, branches, tree roots, um, and the thing just does not slip. It hooks up incredibly well. Um, and on things when on the stock rooms, I'd be wheel spinning and having to use momentum to get through some stuff. Uh, you can just chug through um, so significantly better than stock and I'll post some of the footage of us in the um, four-wheel four drive tracks and um, and things like that uh, so that will get posted and I'll provide some links to that so so just sort of cover a couple other things off before we finish but uh, you can just sort of see here the the Pirelli Scorpion XC 120 um, on the narrow dirt star rims, the, you can see it's got a very, very rounded profile with the knobs protruding out the side, um, which gives it some agility and you know helps it climb out of slippery ruts and things like that. Um, the only real quirk from that is that you've got to have, be very centered in the ruts or it keeps trying to climb out of them, so you've got to be more precise with the tyre. And then you can kind of move on and you start, as you can see, the, the, the same tyre in a 140. 
um, on the stock room um, and it's got a very square profile flat across the top um, the, the side knobs don't protrude, protrude very much um, which makes it horrible on the road um, not bad in the dirt but um, the very square profile has its challenges um, and then you can see in the last image here that um, the I've put a, what is it, it's a Motors uh, Desert HT and a 150.18 on there. So that is um, on the Dirt Star rims as well. And um, you can see it's got a very round profile. So with the side knobs right round. I haven't actually ridden it yet, but um, you'll see that it, um, it definitely rounds off that profile with the rim pulling in the, in the side wall. So it's a very, um, should be very good compared to how it would perform on the stockroom. Yeah, that's my impressions. If you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer anything. You just chuck it in the comments. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this kind of content and um, some more off-road focused riding, um, please hit the subscribe button. It'd be much appreciated. Um, and that's all for me. So thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.